Item number, SCP-713. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-713 is to be kept in a standard safe class inanimate object containment cell at site. Standard positive action defenses are to remain in place at all times. It is not to be plugged in while stored. Description. SCP-713 is a desktop personal computer running Windows 95. It bears no external manufacturer's markings, but internal inspection reveals it to be composed entirely of hardware commercially available in the late 1990s. The keyboard and mouse connectors are soldered into their sockets, and there are no ports available for peripherals, except the monitor. The computer has no internet capability. The hard drive contains assorted commercially available software, including Data Expunged, Office Suite, Data Expunged, Image Editing Software, and Solitaire. SCP-713's mouse may be used to move its cursor off the screen. The cursor does not change size or appearance, remaining two-dimensional, though capable of moving in three dimensions. The scroll wheel controls the Z-direction and resembling a light projection, without an apparent source. It may be used to click and drag individual items. Dragged objects' size and mass do not seem to impede it. It has demonstrated the ability to exert forces of at least 150 kilonewtons. Care must be taken in use of the object, as sudden flicks of the wrist coupled with poorly timed release of the left mouse button have resulted in damage to the containment room's walls. The right mouse button does not appear to function when the cursor is outside the monitor. However, when the word processing program is open on the monitor, left-clicking on a sheet of writing material produces a cursor like that of a word processor. Typing then results in letters, in composition apparently identical to the cursor, although data expunged, appearing on the writing material. They linger as long as the computer is operating, disappear when it is shut down and reappear upon restarting the computer and reopening the word processor. The image editing software's effects are similar, though much broader in scope. The solitaire game may be played using ordinary playing cards. Every effort must be made to avoid crashing SCP-713. When the machine locks up, its cursor either disappears immediately, dropping any held object, or data expunged consistent with crushing forces of over kilonewtons. Other error types have commensurately more damaging results. See experiment logs and incident reports for further details. Addendum. Writing materials tested to date with SCP-713's word processor include copy paper, college-ruled notebook paper, text conformed to the lines, handmade vellum, tracing paper, data expunged, a chalkboard, and a blank wall. Testing is ongoing. Note: I will shoot the next son of a bitch that pulls a lens flare out of this thing. Dr. Note: Testing has been suspended after Incident 7133, in which D713233 dragged D713054 into the trash. Until D713054's fate has been determined, Access to SCP-713 is denied without express authorization from Level 4 staff or higher. Note: Further testing authorized. See Experiment Log 713 for details. Experiment Log 713. Approved by O5 Project Head, Dr. Test 12. Date: 2000 Subject, image editing software. Procedure, software initialized. New document opened. Paint command selected. Brush size altered to 50 pixels and color changed to number FF0000. Cursor moved off screen and click and dragged over blank white wall. Software exited. Software reinitialized. Results. Upon selection of Paint command, cursor became an open 50-pixel wide circle, approximately 3 cm off screen. Dragging resulted in a 3 cm by 20 cm line of the appropriate shade of red appearing on the wall. 
Line's composition resembled that of the word processor's type. Line disappeared upon exiting program and did not reappear upon program restart. It is hypothesized that the image editor, like the word processor, does not retain data between program instances unless saved to the hard drive. Test 13. Date. 2000. Subject. Image editing software. Procedure. As test 12, except that current image saved to disk before exiting program and opened again upon reinitializing. Results. Red streak disappeared upon closing program and reappeared upon opening. Test 14. Date. 2000. Subject. Image editing software. Procedure. Software initialized. Blur command selected. Brush size altered to 100 pixels. Cursor moved off screen and click and dragged over blank white wall and over surface of wooden table. Software exited. Results. Subject surfaces lost approximately percent of surface detail, including wood grain and the roughness of paint and cinder block surfaces. Loss of height detail confirmed with laser range finders. Detail returned upon closing program. Note. Where did the mass of those bumps go? Dr. Test 15. Date. 2000. Subject. Image editing software. Procedure. As test 14. Except that between closing the program and reopening it, the wooden table was moved 3 meters farther away from SCP-713. Results. Blurred area reappeared in same location relative to table. SCP-713 does not appear to depend on positional cues for object recognition. Test 16. Date. 2000. Subject. Image editing software. Procedure. As test 15, except that between closing the program and reopening it, the wooden table was moved to site kilometers from SCP-713. Results. Blurred area reappeared in same location on table surface. Further investigation into object's range proposed. Test 17. Date. 2000. Subject. Image editing software. D-713023. Procedure. As test 14. Except that blur command applied to D-713023's face. Results. All facial features, including sensory organs, reduced to ill-defined and fuzzy bumps on head surface. D-713023 reported significant pain and loss of visual and auditory acuity. All features and faculties returned when program was closed, then disappeared again, with all previously reported effects when file loaded. Note. We could use SCP-713 to punish uncooperative D-Class. We erase someone's face, save the file, then threaten to open it if he won't jump when we say. Research Assistant Denied. Other methods work just as well for less security risk. Dr. Test 48. Date. 2000. Subject. File operations. Procedure. Cursor clicked on 10 by 10 by 10 centimeter aluminum cube. Cube held in cursor. Control C. Copy. Entered. Cube released. Control V. Paste. Entered. Results. Duplicate cube. Apparently similar in composition to SCP-713's cursor. Appears at tip of cursor. All efforts to interact with duplicate unsuccessful, except those using the cursor. Test 49. Date. 2000. Subject. File operations. Procedure. Cursor moved outside screen. Control A. Select all. Entered. Delete key pressed. Results. Data expunged. 
Test 82. Date. 2000. Subject. Trash function. D713054. Procedure. Recycle bin icon double clicked. File labeled. D713054's former name. Located and dragged onto the desktop. File dragged off screen and over an empty area of the lab floor. Left mouse button released. Results. Cursor changed into hourglass icon for 2 minutes 8 seconds. The file icon then disappeared, and D713054 appeared in its place, standing on the ground in a neutral position. Subject expressed agitation and confusion, stating that her arm felt wrong. Cursory medical examination revealed that her left radius had disappeared completely, leaving all other associated structures intact. Upon further questioning, she stated that she was aware that time had passed since Incident 71303, but that she could remember very little. Doctor, please describe what you experienced inside SCP-713. D-713054. I, uh, it was really weird. Like I was dreaming or something. Doctor, can you recall any details at all? D-713054. Do I have to? Doctor, recalcitrance will be noted. D-713054. Okay. It was like, like I was being broken up into pieces. It didn't hurt, really, but it was... Subject pauses for several seconds. Scary. Like a nightmare. Doctor, how many pieces? And how big? D-713054. How am I supposed to know that? It wasn't one of those dreams that makes sense. Note. Subsequent interviews with trashed D-Class corroborate these results. Personnel dragged out of the recycle bin are consistently unable to give any detailed description of the experience. Some lie, some generate false memories, and some simply state lack of knowledge. Every test to date has resulted in one or small body parts disappearing upon reconstitution. Test 83. Date. 2000. Subject. Trash function. Standard digital video camera. Procedure. Camera set to record and dragged into the recycle bin. SCP-713 left to run uninterrupted for 60 minutes. Camera containing file dragged off screen. Results. Cursor changed into hourglass icon for 13 seconds. Camera reappeared, still recording, missing approximately two square centimeters of casing surrounding lens. Between trashing and reconstitution, camera recorded 60 minutes of video, all blank. Test 84. Date. 2000. Subject. Trash function. D713233. Procedure. D713233 dragged into the recycle bin. Disk defragmenter program initialized. Main hard drive defragmented. File containing D713233 located, opened, and read. Contents noted. File closed. D713233 dragged back off screen. Results. Data expunged. 482 gigabytes. Significantly larger than SCP-713's stated hard drive size. Data expunged. Spreadsheet format. Listed biochemical data were confirmed to correspond to data expunged. Upon reconstitution off screen, data expunged. Nerves rerouted. Several joints dislocated. And data expunged. Massive exsanguination and pulmonary distress. Data expunged. Expired 12 hours later. Note. Future testing should avoid all file operations, as long as any personnel are stored in SCP-713. Test 112. Date. 2000. Subject. Effects of computer crashes. Procedure. Testing chamber cleared. D-713234 instructed to exploit a previously discovered bug, such that SCP-713's word processor would lock up and stop responding. 
SCP-713 cold booted. Results. Cursor froze in place and did not respond until SCP-713 was turned off. Cursor reappeared as normal when computer restarted. Note. About what we'd expect from a normal computer. Dr. Test 113. Date. 2000. Subject. Effects of computer crashes. Procedure. As test 112, except that D713234 instructed to attempt to manipulate cursor by hand before restarting. Results. Cursor froze in place as before. D713234 expressed reluctance, but was induced to touch the cursor. His hand immediately became attached to the object, as if someone had attempted to click on him. While the cursor usually exerts exactly enough force to induce necessary movement, D713234's hand was crushed. Injuries were consistent with data expunged. Kilonewtons. More than SCP-713 has yet displayed. Test 114. Date. 2000. Subject. Effects of computer crashes. Procedure. Testing chamber cleared. D713235 instructed to pick up a prepared high-capacity multi-directional digital force gauge before crashing SCP-713, as in test 112. Results. Force gauge crushed. Exactly as with D-713234's hand. Pattern of damage to cube indicates data expunged, as if the cursor data expunged. Note. Stop speculating and test that. Request for tougher equipment denied. The last one was expensive enough. There are less direct ways to measure crushing force. Dr. Test 115. Date. 2000 Subject Effects of computer crashes Procedure Testing chamber cleared D713235 instructed to pick up a prepared 30 by 30 by 30 centimeter solid iron cube before crashing SCP-713 as in test 112 Results Contact lost with site for 5 hours Upon re-establishing contact Data expunged. Considerable structural damage. Data expunged. Of all electronic devices. With all non-electronic artificial devices, data expunged. SCP and SCP were found to have broken containment and data expunged. All personnel on site were lost. Security recordings recovered from external SCP servers suggest that in the process of crashing SCP-713 as instructed, D-713235 inadvertently induced a stop error, blue screen of death. See Incident Report 71323 for further details. See Incident Report's data expunged for details of similar incidents. Note: All testing regarding effects of SCP-713's computer crashes is hereby suspended. Researchers involved have received posthumous reprimands. 05 Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-712, The Impossible Colors, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.